Welcome back to Nurses Lecture Room YouTube channel. My name is Messi Mary, popularly known as a nurse with the difference, and I make learning easy and accessible for students. I got a message from my students to create a video on RAS system and also what is the relationship between RAS system and blood pressure. By the end of this class, you will be able to answer all these questions correctly. But before we go into details, kindly click on the subscribe button, turn on the notification button so you don't miss out. Let's go there. Right, welcome back. Like I earlier said, today we're going to be talking about the RAS system, which is the renin angiotensin aldosterone system. The renin angiotensin aldosterone system. That is the RAS system. Have you heard about it? Okay, today I'm going to be explaining it more. The RAS system is a hormone system that regulates blood pressure. It's what it is a hormone system that regulates blood pressure and fluid electrolyte imbalance. This system is mainly composed of three hormones. This RAS system is composed of three hormones, namely the renin, the angiotensin, and the aldosterone. These three hormones help in the regulation of blood pressure. The first hormone is renin and renin is secreted from the justa glomerular apparatus of the kidney. What makes the kidney secrete this renin? The first thing that makes the kidney to secrete renin is reduced sodium delivery. When there is reduced sodium, the body notices, oh, we are not getting enough sodium. This reduced sodium delivery leads to the release of what? Renin. And also, reduced perfusion pressure. The kidney is not getting enough blood, it's not getting enough fluid, it's not getting enough things that the kidney, that it needs. So, that reduced perfusion pressure will make the kidney to release what? Renin. And also, sympathetic stimulation of the, the, the just a glomerular apparatus. They all lead to what? The release of this renin. So the first hormone in um, the renin angiotensin aldosterone system is renin. What happens to renin? Like we earlier said, renin is produced from where? The just a glomerular apparatus of the kidney. When renin is produced, it acts on angiotensinogen. What is angiotensinogen? Angiotensinogen is a hormone that is being produced in the liver. So when renin acts on this angiotensinogen, the angiotensinogen is being converted to angiotensin 1. Angiotensinogen is produced where it is released from the liver, while the renin is released from where? The kidney. So this angiotensinogen is being converted to what? Angiotensin 1 by renin. Angiotensin 1 is converted to angiotensin 2. Angiotensin 1 is converted to angiotensin 2 by what? Angiotensin converting enzyme. This conversion usually takes place, mostly takes place in the lungs because that is where this angiotensin converting enzyme is being produced. Remember, it begins from the renin. Renin is produced in where? The kidney. This renin acts on angiotensinogen and, and converts this angiotensinogen to angiotensin 1. Angiotensin 1 is converted to angiotensin 2 by angiotensin converting enzyme. And most of this conversion takes place where? It takes place in the lungs. So this angiotensin 2, what does it do? This angiotensin 2 stimulates the release of aldosterone from the adrenal cortex. It stimulates what? It stimulates the release of aldosterone from the adrenal cortex. And when this aldosterone is released, it leads to the reabsorption of sodium. The body reabsorbs sodium back into the bloodstream. 
As sodium is coming in, what do you expect? Water is also following suit. So there's both reabsorption of sodium and water. Because as sodium is going, water is going alongside. So that is why it is known as what? Renin angiotensin aldosterone system. Renin angiotensin aldosterone system. So when sodium and water is being reabsorbed back into the body, definitely there will be increased fluid, right? When there is increased fluid, there will be increased blood pressure. So that is the role this RAS system has to play in the, um, in the regulation of blood pressure. And your testing too, despite the fact that it also facilitates aldosterone um, release, it also has a lot of role it plays in the body. And one of that role is that it stimulates the hypothalamus, that's the test sensation, it stimulates the hypothalamus to stimulate the test sensation, so you start drinking water. And when you start drinking water, there will be increased fluid in the body, and that invariably increases the blood pressure. Then another function of this angiotensin tune is that it stimulates the posterior pituitary gland to release antidiuretic hormones. And what does this antidiuretic hormone do? This antidiuretic hormone helps to reabsorb more water. It helps your body to reabsorb water into the bloodstream. Angiotensin two also help in the sympathetic nervous system activation that will lead to the release of your adrenaline. So you can see the function of angiotensin II is not just to stimulate release of aldosterone from the adrenal cortex alone, but also it stimulates the hypothalamus so that we can drink plenty of water. It stimulates the posterior pituitary gland so that a lot of water will be reabsorbed by the kidney. And also, it stimulates the sympathetic nervous system so that the, uh, the adrenaline can be released. Remember, what I want to take note of in this RAS system is that renin is being produced in the just glomerular apparatus of the kidney. It acts on angiotensinogen. When it acts on angiotensinogen, angiotensinogen is converted to angiotensin 1. Angiotensin converting enzyme convert angiotensin 1 to angiotensin 2 and this angiotensin 2 stimulates aldosterone to, to be released and the aldosterone that is being released help in the reabsorption of sodium that is how it's been able to regulate blood pressure and when there is reabsorption of sodium there will be reabsorption of water and the fluid volume will be increased in the intravascular space. I hope this video helped you understand the RAS system properly. Thank you very much for staying tuned. Thank you very much for watching our video. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to drop your comments in the comment section. And don't forget to share with a friend if you got value. See you in our next video.